Welcome to episode seven of Randy's Office. Today we're gonna look at Forms, which is part of your Microsoft Office account. It's one of the applications that's available online that you can use to create surveys or quizzes and collect information in an online environment. And it stores it all as part of your Microsoft account and you can, uh, you can export it to an Excel worksheet as well. So let's take a look at Forms. When you log into office.com with your Microsoft account, uh, this is the area that you'll see that displays all the different apps. And Forms is one of the apps on here. If, if this doesn't display, you can click on explore all your apps or up here in the list of apps, display that. And there's all apps there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into Forms. And I already have a survey created here, um, I'm, but I'm going to go ahead and do a new form. You could also do quizzes as well, but I'll go ahead and create a new form. And on the new form, you add their title, you can add questions, you could set a theme up here and choose a color. There are some pictures available. If you want your own custom picture or custom color, you can either add your own custom picture here, upload an image or choose a specific color. So I'll just go ahead and apply something here. So, and it changes the colors of the buttons and the background here like that, but um, we can add close that. I can add a title to this and a description. For adding questions, there are different types of questions here. Here's a few of them. And then as you click the ellipses, you get more uh, types of questions that you can add. So as you add each question, I'll go ahead and add a choice question. There are options available. You could customize each of these options. As you start typing uh, options, it the forms will give you some suggestions for other ones. So I could add Excel and I can add PowerPoint and even forms as some of the options on there. I can delete any of these. I can duplicate this question down at the bottom. There are some settings so I could uh, allow multiple answers. And these settings vary depending on the type of question that you select. Um, I can make questions required so that the uh, recipients, the respondents to the form have to answer it. Um, and then there, again, the ellipses here give you more settings available. So we could do a drop down list for these choices rather than just radio buttons. I can add a subtitle to this question. So quite a few things do really easy and quick to create a form. I'm going to go back to the forms area and open the form that I created earlier. And this one, I did include a picture here. And so I could go in, I could delete the picture or add some text there, add some alt text to that. Um, but I do have a subtitle. These are my different questions. Each one of these to edit it, I can click on it and look at how I have it set up. I have these required. I could add a picture over here, which I did on one of the questions down below. This one added a picture here, but all different types of questions, really easy to set it up. And again, the uh, the settings are different depending on what type of question. So this one, I could add some restrictions to it. This question here, I, had, I set up as a drop down list. If you ever want to see what your what your form looks like, there's a preview button that would show you what it'll look like to recipients that who are going to re be responding to it. So it's really nice and clean, super easy. This is where they'd fill in their name, drop down list to just select one option. This is one where they can select multiple options. I have it set up as, as well. So you could select multiple things. This one I have set up to reorder. So when they're most likely to move to 365. So we'll probably move in the fall. And then so you could reorder those. You could use the up and down arrows as well. And uh, this is one of the net promoter uh, questions. How likely are you to promote something? So I could select that and submit. So you'll see it's really simple and easy to do. There's also something I'm going to go, oh, you can also view it in mobile, what it's going to look like on a phone as well. So that's a, that's a really nice feature. So I'll go ahead and go back to the edit area and, um, I can also over here there in the upper right are set are more settings. So I can choose 
uh, settings on who gets to see it, you know, who can fill out it. I put anyone with a link down here, accept responses. I can set an end start date and end date. I can shuffle questions. I have a customized message that they receive upon submitting the form. If I want to get uh, email notifications, I can get that. I Typically, you don't want that. That's why you do forms is all this data is collected online. You don't receive a whole bunch of emails. That's one of the nice things about the form. So those are settings. There's also something called branching that you could do. Branching allows you to add some follow-up questions to some questions. So if they answer in a certain way, you could have, have another question that elicits more um, more information about that particular question. So branching is another thing that can be can be added. Um, and then once, the, once it's all done, you can go ahead and share that. So I'm going to click on the share button here and this top part is sharing the form. So this gives you a link that I can email to people to have them, um, to have them fill out the response. I could post it in an online location. I could get a QR code or an embed link, or I could actually create an email that has the link in there and then just send it, send it to a bunch of people. So this is for collecting responses. If you want to share this uh, form as a template that somebody could use and duplicate and customize on their own, or if you're collaborating with somebody creating this form, those are different links that you could get down here. So all sorts of sharing options but the way I would do it I would just copy this sharing link and email it to those who I want to fill it out after they fill out the um, survey go ahead and close that you have a responses page so everything is collected right here so it makes it really really nice these are the number of responses so far that I have and it gives details about each question I can click and see more details if I want about each question. Um, I can, these are all the different questions and all the details. So really nice and clean. It summarizes all that data uh, real quickly. And then I can even open an Excel, which ex exports all the, um, the form, the survey data into an Excel uh, spreadsheet. So really, really nice, easy to, uh, easy to create, easy to use. I hope this was helpful with forms and uh, go create a form and gather some data from, uh, from your colleagues or students. So have a great day.